Well, apparently, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Sparkle Lake. And look, I'm used to seeing cattle walking down the road. And apparently, there's just wild horses. Look at that. Hi, honey. Hi. Look at that. I've never seen horses on the road before. Well, I'll be darned. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Like, where did they live? There's like nothing here. These are like wild horses. Look how beautiful they are. There you go, honey. Hi. Look at that. He's got a bell on. What's the bell for? Look at that. That one's not going to move. He's like, nope. It's, it's like the cows in the road. I don't know. This is so weird. The weirdest encounter I've ever seen. They're shooed. Where they come from, I don't know. But they're pretty. Hi. Oh, it's Starry Vlog. And it's morning. Look, it's morning. Oh, oh. and... I'm just waking up. It's on the wrong side of my head. Oh my gosh. I look horrible this morning. I look like a drunk. That's what happens when you car camp. But look at this. Oh, and the wind was terrible last night. There's my bag over there. But what a way to wake up. So there's someone on the bridge over there. That's freaky. He's watching me. Uh, I'm walking over here with the camera talking. And then the guy's on the bridge. Looks like he's German. Looks like he's a foreigner. Okay, where'd he go? He's still on the bridge. I'm gonna get back in my car. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in my car. I'm just gonna do my thing and then and then I'm gonna get my worship stuff. Praise the Lord this morning, but I gotta do something with this hair. Cause it looks bad. I can't even I can't even show you on camera how bad it looks. So I have these sports bras I wear all the time. Cause you know. A little light in the loafers. And I remember I was at work. And see, when you when you when you wash these sports bra, the padding because there's padding, they tend to go on one side, right? One side, padding. One side, no padding. So I'm at work, and I'm feeling my boobs, and I just realized I had padding on one side of my 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 chest, and I had no padding on the other side. That was a dilemma, because I'm like, I wonder if people are looking at me funny. Yeah, not good. So there you go. Oh, right, here, you know, and while I'm getting dressed here, I had somebody call me, actually. I couldn't believe this. Called me because they thought I was hiking in the nude and I had made a video on it. I was like, really? Well, I didn't watch the video, but... Uh, a lady called me and said that, you know, she's a Christian lady and she was all concerned that Starry was hiking in the nude. Are you kidding me? Come on, are you, are you kidding me? First of all, watch the video. Second of all, the lady must not have watched the video. But she had an opinion about it, didn't she? They all have an opinion about what Starry's doing. And you know what, isn't it amazing? They call themselves followers of Christ. The biggest critics out there are the followers of Christ. Isn't that, well, I don't even call them followers or Christians. I don't know what they are. They're criticizers. And it's terrible that we see that uh, nowadays. People are so critical. No, we won't watch, we won't watch the vlog to see what she's doing, see that if she's really in the nude. We just know that she's hiking in the nude. Really. You know, here's Starry being, I'm being a little snarky this morning because, you know, my, my sports bras cockeyed but you know I mean think about that you guys get frustrated with other people who, who say oh they're Christians and and they're the most critical people out there it really ruins the it ruins it for everybody and it ruins it you know who it ruins it for it ruins it for the people who uh, are looking for God and 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 are on the fence post and they think that all Christians are hypocrites and you know this is what this is what they, they come to face with those people that's the sad part okay see now the hair is better it's presentable before it wasn't presentable and you may be asking starry what's your 
What's your technique to getting your hair looking like it does? It's called a jug of water poured over the head in the morning. Yeah. So, oh, let's see what's for breakfast. Yeah. So, I bought this Ozark Trail uh, container. And it's supposed to be really, really good for keeping things cold. And so far, oh, all the ice is melted. So, I guess that didn't work. It's supposed to last, like, for days and days and days and days. So far, I'm unimpressed. Look at that. Great. Luckily, I didn't have any food in there on the bottom because I've learned. But um, that was a great experiment. But what's for breakfast this morning? Blueberries. So you can see what, what Starry's traveling with. I can't believe these coolers. None of them work. Uh, nectarines. I got baby food stashed. Nectarines. I picked... Uh, Fresh broccoli from the garlic. Ooh, these are getting a little soft. I should eat that this morning. And lots of fruit. I still gotta eat that pineapple. I got my cherry tomatoes from the garden. Aren't those beautiful? And we got Washington's from Washington. What are those? Those are cherries from Washington. Yeah, big cherry state. I haven't found any cherry trees yet to, to pick. Um, I think cherries came and gone and I missed the boat. But look, I didn't make my own yogurt because I am really dairy free. And believe it or not, I, I kind of gave up yogurt. But I always find the bargains. Look at this. This was 50% off and my girlfriend told me about it. This actually is a um, dairy free yogurt. Now, you have to be careful with these because you got to look at the ingredients. But this is just kind of a backup plan for Starry so I can have a little flavor of the yogurt. And I'm gonna put, where's those rotted bananas? Oh, here they are. I'm gonna put those rotted bananas in here this morning with my blueberries. See, that's breakfast. Breakfast of champions. And look how lovely I present that. Isn't that lovely? Now I gotta find a spoon. Okay, now I'm gonna take a break and we're gonna come back and the adventure will begin.